So good morning everyone. Welcome back to our channel Proper Tech Tutorial. And in this channel, as the name suggests, that we upload videos regarding technology that is in a comprehensive and, ef and efficient manner. And along with, there are some career counseling and tutorials. So basically, there are four playlists. And namely, I will uh, list them out so that if you find them useful, you can check them out and you can add them to your favorite playlist. The first is the career development. In this, the two videos have been uploaded. The first is with IIT Mandi. For those who are related to computer science or want to uh, migrate to computer science, and the second video is of AI chat GPT. All the possible uses of AI has been discussed in this video. And second playlist is of software hands-on tutorial in which I have created a series of three videos as to how to make a theoretical IC engine on Siemens NX CAD from modeling, from sketch environment to modeling to assembly environment to the whole constraints and a proper functioning IC engine is made. A theoretical IC engine, not the actual, but the theoretical also has many concepts which are used of Siemens NX as well as of, of the IC engine, the whole four stroke part. The third uh, playlist is of software installation tutorial in which I have already uploaded a video of how to install Primeware of P6 Professional and a step-by-step -step guide is there and also the description contains the link to download the software, the full package. And this video is related to Siemens NX as to how to install Siemens NX and this is the part of the same third playlist that is software installation tutorial. The fourth and last playlist is tips and tricks related to Android OS and it is not that of a basis uh, that uh, focused but it will be a part of this channel and some things or other will be uploaded in that playlist. So keep your support, do share our videos if, and like our videos and comment on our videos if you find them useful and subscribe if you want us to deliver more such videos related to technology and career. So let us start with this video. So now let us proceed with the step-by-step -step tutorial of installing Siemens NX. The first thing which you will have to do, the link is in the description, you will have to download the whole setup. And in that you will have to download the RAR, RAR file, RAR file, and you will get the option to download, download it, save it to your PC. And after that, those who have used NX in that system in, in their system, please uninstall the Siemens NX and uninstall the Siemens NX license server. So how you will have to do that? You will have to do nothing. You will have to go to control panel. And in that control panel, you will get the option of programs and features and you will click on Siemens NX and then uninstall and then you will give it administrator setting. Click on yes and the uninstallation will begin, which will look something like this. And this is the uninstallation going on. And after that, I will show you the relevant dialog boxes which are necessary, which will be required and we will proceed accordingly. So now Siemens NX has been uninstalled. You can see that only SolidWorks and other softwares remain, which are named with S. And now what we will do is that we will uninstall the Siemens NX license files. And how we will do that? We will go to the C Solid Squad license server. This folder, if you do not have, you can copy it from this setup folder. That is, this is the setup folder. After extraction, we will go to crack, then server, and then Solid Squad license server. You can copy it and paste it in the C drive and you can click on uninstall and this will uninstall the license server. So we will uninstall the license server. Has been removed, all done enjoy, enter to continue, I have pressed enter. After that we will remove this whole folder, solid squad license server, shift delete. Okay. And then we'll check the program files if there is any folder of Siemens is still present. So it is not, then it is okay. Then what we will do, we'll restart the computer and then we'll proceed with the installation part. 
So we have restarted the computer and we'll proceed with the installation part. We will open the folder where we have downloaded the setup. We have extracted that and after extraction, we'll go to the folder of crack and then we'll go to the folder of server. And in that server folder, we'll go to the folder which has a shorter name that is SSQ Universal License Server 4 and at last 5000. We'll click on that. We'll copy this whole folder. We'll paste it in C drive. That is the root directory where the program will be installed. We'll then again go back to the same crack folder and then we will go to the longer name folder. We'll go to the vendors and we'll copy the Siemens PLM folder and then we'll go back to the solid squared license server and we'll go to the vendors and we'll paste it over here. After that, what we'll do, we'll right click on install or update dot batch file, batch file that is Windows batch file, this one. This is a SH file, this is not to be clicked. This is the file which is to be clicked. So right click on that, run as administrator. Yes, then you will get a, a, a run dialog and it will proceed accordingly. And then at last you will have all done enjoy. That is everything has gone the way we wanted. Just press any key to continue. I'll press enter. You will see that some more folders have been created in this folder. C solid squared license server. It is okay. Now we'll go back to the main setup file. We have installed the license. And now we need to install Siemens NX. So what we'll do, we'll right click on this setup and we'll click on extract to and it will extract over here. After that, we'll get some folders and files and in that we'll click on launch. And there are two launch, one is HTML application and one is application. So we'll click on this launch. I'll show you the properties. This is application.exe. We'll click on launch, run as administrator. Yes, and then we will not click on any other thing like installing license manager or anything like that. We'll only click on install NX and it will ask you certain things. You will just click on your preferences and then you will proceed. The things which are to be installed have already been selected. The whole package will be installed. You will click on next. You can change the location, but it is better if you do not. For this part, license file or port at the rate post. If this is mentioned 27800 at localhost, then it is okay. If it is not, nothing to nothing to worry about. You will have this how to install notepad file. Just open it and you will have the exact thing written over here. You will copy it, control C and you will paste it, control V. And then you will proceed next language, main install, and then it will start its installation process. So with this, we will complete the installation of Siemens NX. And after it will be installed, I will resume the video shortly. So now we see that the installation has been completed. You will uncheck this box and then click on finish. We will close this installation launcher. After that, we will go back to the setup where it was all, all there. And after, since we have like, uh, see, uh, we have uninstalled Siemens and now we will be have installed the Siemens and we have installed the Siemens license server before that. And now what is available is remaining is that only two steps. The first is We'll go to the client folder, NX 2007. We'll copy all the folders, go in the C drive, program files. And in that, we'll go to Siemens. Sorry. We'll go to Siemens. We'll go to NX 2007. We'll control V and replace all the files in the destination. We'll click on continue, do this for all items. We have done that. After that, we'll again go back to our downloaded setup. And in that, we have only one thing remaining, that is this, the registry merge file. In this, we have, you see the directory over here is quite long, that is D, software, Siemens, PLM, then this, then this. So there are like six, seven folders after that. 
this file is there. So in case we merge from here, it might be possible that it will not work properly. So because registry merge files work when the directory uh, is or when the uh, address is short. So we'll copy this solid squared loader in Agra, and then we'll open any root file for this. We have, I have opened D and I will paste it. And since I have already pasted it, I will replace it again just for your convenience and for your reference. I will do this merge operation and I will click on yes. And are you sure you want to continue? I will click on yes and has been successfully added to registry. After that, everything has been done and I will show you to how to open NX and I will open Siemens NX. And it will take a little time since it is loading for the first time. And in the meantime, I will let you know that I have made certain videos like a series of three videos in which I have explained and shown from a sketch environment to modeling to assembly and all the constraints and all the relevant things and that three parts of videos that is titled how to design uh, how to design uh, a theoretical ic engine in siemens nx so that you can check in the our playlist that is software tutorial video software tutorials or hands-on tutorials so this is that file and soon I will be uploading a full series of multiple videos in which I will be uh, in which I'll be explaining all the smallest and the biggest concepts of Siemens NX from my sketch environment to modeling to assembly all the constraints including the ribbon and many other features like uh, like uh, the smallest feature like showing in wireframe or showing the proper model or which is the proper uh, customer defaults to be set how can the ribbon be uh, like uh, customized etc so this was the assembly which i had made and i will show you the result just so that if you like the result you can check the playlist the hands-on tutorial and you can learn how to make a theoretical ic engine in siemens nx okay so these were the components which were made in the model environment and then propagated to the assembly environment so this is for this is uh, it for now that i hope that you have understood how to install siemens nx and in case you like our video uh, do subscribe to our channel like our videos comment on our videos and share our videos if you have any colleague or your friend, until the next time we meet, goodbye.